Toasty. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cool your house with water. So let's turn on the water. And we just turn on a little bit of a trickle. Otherwise, it's a huge waste of water. Look at that, starting up. So we have a half inch PVC pipe with around 50 holes drilled in it. And we just have that connected to a hose. The hose just runs off the roof and connects to a hose tap. This thing consumes about 50 gallons of water a day. And that's if I leave it on for 12 hours. Now this is not really useful unless you're living somewhere where it gets 100 degrees outside and you have direct sunlight on the thing you want to cool. Otherwise it's just a huge waste of water. But this thing cools about 30 square meters of the rooftop and 50 gallons of water a day, that's not too bad. Especially when you consider that the roof tires are quite toasty. And no, that is not a fake reading, that is real. Here's my foot. The water hasn't come down all the way yet, but it takes around five minutes and the water will come all the way down and coat the entire roof here. And its cooling effect is maximum at the top, obviously, because that's where most of the water is. So at the top, we have hot water coming in because I just turned on the hose, so it is 92 degrees, but usually gets down to around 78. And then as we work our way down, it will progressively get warmer because the water is indirect sunlight and is basically heating up. But there's also evaporation taking place, which is what actually cools the roof. The only downside to having one of these on your roof is it wastes a ton of water. But when you run it, it actually cleans your roof off. So when you start it up, it's going to be nasty water coming out of the downspot. But once you run it for two to three hours, it should clean off the entire roof and it will go into the downspout and you can just connect the downspout right to your pool. And the downspout temperatures are usually around 90 degrees. So it's quite good for heating the pool. Here's the downspout temperatures. 105 degrees. It's pretty good for heating a pool. But as you can see, it's nasty in there. So this is the room underneath the piece of roof that I'm cooling and it is around 70 degrees and that's really good because it's usually around 80 degrees at this time of day. So it's getting a bit slippery up here and I don't want to fall off the roof. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it helped you. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.